gather materials from everywhere. Anywhere I go, I gather materials. You know, I found this hair in Korea in the market. People were selling their hair and I've made all these hairdos. I don't know, it's just whatever I can find. So for me, the process of collecting is like the idea of buying a prom dress when you don't have a prom to go to right away. I'm looking for objects that have a story that exists for more than themselves. I'm a bit of a collector and I like the particularities of things. Generic dogs, horses, cats actually don't really interest me, but a specific dog or a specific horse or a specific cat or a specific fish would, would interest me. I collected all over the place because I began seeing them everywhere. These black stereotypical objects, mammy figures, cookie jars, salt shakers, and pappy, you know, whatever. Well, I started with dead fish. So I tend to just pick up odd samples of wood. Fake foods, pens, political pens. Some of the pens are almost like flair that you would find at TGI Fridays. It's sort of a pseudo totem figure. And so I have, you know, out of respect, I haven't figured out what to do with it, but I had to have it. I went through all the trash in Venice because I love recycling, and all the trash in Venice is fantastic. This other glass was my mother. She, she had a, a, a little niche which, uh, with, that was lit that had glass that she collected, green glass, so I guess I get it from somewhere. Well, you've got my mother's things here, and so there's a kind of historical thing, and then you've got farm animals, so the farm and domestic animals, and then you've got sort of sea creatures at this end, and then you've got bones and real things down here. It's amazing what you can find. I think it's a little stressful to collect under a deadline, so I try and draw that process out all the time. Things don't happen immediately. Sometimes things stay around for years, 20 years sometimes before something occurs to me. This collection of clamps was built up over um, uh, 20 years or so. Sculptors are hoarders. <laughs> we're just polite hoarders. We are allowed to be hoarders because we're sculptors. If we weren't sculptors, they'd be sending those people in to say, throw this away now. <laughs> it's not quite a rubbish heap and it's not quite a store. It's somewhere in between. It's about holding on to or collecting objects or materials and then when you find the right moment to use them or you can find the perfect space to apply them then that's when you use them. When I'm at a loss at the piece I just wander through the building I start pulling out whatever I need by the end my studio is full of things and that's how the piece gets made 